expert here. A lot of schools have instituted uh, distance learning. I know Sac City Unified is just getting that going now. Uh, for the Fortune School, in your experience, how quickly were you able to get the distance learning going? We were able to get it uh, up and going in about a week and a half. We notified our families that we were going to shut down on March 14th, and by March 25th, we had distance learning up and running. Um, it's, it was an all hands on deck type of experience, Walt. Um, but we did get it up and go, up and going using Google Classroom okay. and Google Hangouts. So if you could advise, since you got, I know it was a lot of work, you did get it up fairly quickly. How could you advise other districts who have struggled? How were you able to do it uh, relatively quickly? Uh, one thing is that our, our curriculum and instruction department really kicked into gear. We made a strategic decision that our learning management system was going to be Google Classrooms. Um, and we also decided that our curriculum and instruction department would build the classrooms for teachers rather than having teachers try and figure it out for themselves. And that we would take an approach of doing three videos a week in each academic content um, um, subject, uh, focusing on our strongest teachers. Uh, and we decided we were not going to do something different in terms of our curriculum, but we'd put the same curriculum online. So what our strongest teachers are doing are cutting videos in English language arts, math, science. They put up three a week, accompanied by three uh, lessons that mm -hmm. are designed to be done at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we gave professional development uh, to everybody. Um, we gave professional development to teachers on how to do Google Classroom um, and Google Hangouts, which is how they're doing their face-to-face -face lessons with, with kids through office hours that are published. Um, and we also gave professional development uh, to parents. We created a whole um, distance learning hub for parents so that they could understand how to use Google Classroom and Google Hangout and know what to expect. Um, and we also provided um, tech support. And we do that on an ongoing basis. We have a, a really simple email address that our parents can um, send an email to and get um, tech support uh, okay. on the spot. Mm -hmm. The same for our teachers. Now, let me ask you this quickly before we go to break, and we, we want you to, to hang out with us here. Um, uh, what will next fall be like when the kids go back? Is there, are you going to resume as normal, or would you assume there's going to be some catching up to do from this year? Oh, there's going to be lots of catching up okay. to do from this year. Okay. Um, what I expect is that it's probably going to take um, a school year and a half just to catch kids up uh, to the COVID-19 achievement gap. Um, because, you know, we, we stopped classroom-based instruction on March 14th. Mm -hmm. We're a classroom-based model. It's really an incredible thing to ask a, a classroom-based model, which most of our districts in the region are, to overnight convert into uh, a non-classroom based model. Right. So That's you're asking par parents to become the, the teachers. So there's going to be catch up work to do. And that's assuming that we get back into the classroom in, in the fall um, and that we don't continue to have COVID-19 related disruptions in the school year. Yeah, that's uh, we're, we're all hoping and, and wishing that this gets uh, rectified much sooner than Labor Day. All right.